beautiful people it's your girl marissa natural and i'm back at it again with another video and as you can tell by the title i'll be doing my wash day routine using miel organics and i took my hair out of the bun that it was in i'm just opening my hair um making sure there's no leftover braids or bobby pins hmm what do we have here a bobby pin <laughs> But yeah, I'm just opening up my hair and making sure that it's all separated. And I had my hair in a bun. Um, I used gel, so there was a lot of flakes. So now I'm just spraying my hair with water, getting it nice and moist before I begin to detangle my hair. gonna take my rat tail comb and just separate my hair into two equal sections. And I just like to use a hair tie just to move the section that I'm not working on out of the way. So right here I'm going to use my wide tooth comb and I'm just going to start detangling from the bottom and working my way up. Since my hair is damp, um, it makes it easier to detangle compared to if I was detangling it on dry hair. It helps um, to retain length and to have less breakage as well. So now that I'm done with this side, I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the next half and I'm just going to repeat the same exact process. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with the first section of my hair I like to wash my hair in warm water and since I do have low porosity hair which means that um, it's harder for my hair to retain moisture and water like oils and uh, water usually sits on top of my hair so it takes about five minutes from the whole section to get fully wet So now I'm just going in with my Miel Organics Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo. This has been one of my favorite products that I've tried recently. 
it cleanses my scalp really well without drying it out or drying out my hair um and it definitely has strength in my hair i used to have like a lot of fairy knots my hair would be really dry and brittle ever since i started using these products my hair has changed a lot just gonna go ahead and rinse out that section that I just shampooed and it's gonna take a while for me to get all the shampoo out as well just because you know like I said before low porosity hair and my hair is really thick really really thick wondering I'm rinsing my hair out with warm water as well I do not rinse my hair out with cold or cool water until after I deep condition so I'm just getting the excess water out of my hair before I go in with my um, strengthening hair mask this product is so amazing it's thick enough to where I don't feel like I have to use a lot usually with more watery deep conditioners I feel like I have to use a lot for it to feel like it's working but with this it's the perfect texture and it gives a lot of coverage even though you don't have to use a lot of the product to just put a little extra mask on my ends just because I have had some issues with my ends in the past and your ends is the oldest part of your hair so it always needs some extra TLC and I'm going back in with my wide tooth comb just so that I can uh, detangle a little bit more as well as get the product to be evenly distributed from the roots to the ends of my hair and splitting that one big section into two smaller sections and I usually do this just because um, when it's time to rinse it out it'll be easier to rinse it out instead of just rinsing it out in one big section it's easier to keep it detangled this way and it's just easier to manage
just repeated the wash rinse and deep condition um process on this side of my head i didn't film it just because it's repetitive but you guys get the point i'm using a plastic grocery bag to help deep condition my hair setting my timer for 30 minutes and once i'm done i'll be back a few moments later and i'm just rinsing the deep conditioner out um, it's easier for me to do it while my hair is still braided starting out anyways uh, just because it helps so my hair does not get tangled. I took the braids down so now I'm rinsing out the deep conditioner and I'm back to having my hair in two sections. I'm just gently separating my hair, letting the water run down and through my hair to make sure all the conditioner is out. So I've moved on to the next section and as you can see that there's such a big difference in my hair. My hair looks a lot softer, it's a lot shinier, and my curls and waves are a lot more elongated. taking my t-shirt here and I'm gonna wrap it around my head it's a cotton t-shirt I prefer to use cotton t-shirts to dry my hair compared to a towel towels create frizziness and it sometimes dries your hair out most of the time unless it's a microfiber towel but I prefer to use cotton t-shirts Just going in with the scalp and hair strengthening oil I love using this on my freshly washed hair um, it keeps my scalp clean and it gives a nice fresh clean feeling uh, because of the peppermint that's in it I literally see no flakes in my hair since I started using this and this is coming from a person that always has flakes in their hair from their hair being so dry um, this is definitely a holy grail product. I love it. So now I'm just going to massage all over my scalp just to help stimulate the oil and activate it. Y'all, this feels so good. Y'all see my eyes closing? I'm about to start drooling.
thank you guys for tuning in to today's video um make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up subscribe uh don't forget to comment any video ideas that you want me to see comment um any products that you want me to try if you tried miel organics what do you think about it did it work for your hair um and i'll see you guys in the next video bye